If you're tired of sitting in traffic, there is a new way to get to Anna Maria Island in Bradenton Beach. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates has the details about this water taxi service, how it's helping people pass the traffic and get to the beach in about 30 minutes. For many, crossing the Cortez Bridge can be a nightmare, and then to get parking can be even harder. But now efforts are on their way to alleviate the headache. We had a terrible time driving over here today. It was backed up for miles. The traffic on area barrier islands have long been an issue for residents and tourists. Last year was just bumper to bumper traffic the whole afternoon, especially going north. And yesterday we waited uh, like an hour for the shuttle that was supposed to come every 20 minutes and it never did come. But now getting back and forth from the beach could soon be easier. Our shuttle services is a scheduled service from from different destinations up and down Anna Maria Island along with Longboat uh, and the mainland. And with a wave of the hand, they were off. The first group to take a ride in the Gulf Island Water Shuttle. The water taxi has several stops and will operate just like the city bus service with pickups and drop offs at multiple locations. It will hopefully encourage people to uh, try out a different mode of transportation instead of getting in their car. Business owner Walter Lowe's says he got the idea for the service after hearing complaint after complaint about traffic. And officials like Bradenton Beach Mayor Bill Sharon welcomed the idea. Hopefully with uh, waterborne transportation, it, it saves from our, our crowds and, and makes it an enjoyable uh, experience for our visitors. David Hutchinson with the Sarasota Manatee Metropolitan Planning Organization says they have seen a drastic increase in the number of people on the road. And while there are multiple projects in the works to alleviate some of the strain, Hutchinson says much more is needed. Years ago, the MPO had conducted a water taxi study that indicated that water taxis can be feasible and can help take some traffic off the road. News that has many celebrating. I think this water taxi idea is going to be a great thing. Officials are hoping several other water taxi services will be implemented in the coming months. Bo Beth Yates, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.